Hi, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In experiment number two, we're going to have a cell division, parota, and DNA extraction. In this experiment, we have three activities, which is cell division mitosis and onion root tip, human carota analysis, and lastly is DNA extraction. In this experiment 2A, cell division mitosis onion, we're going to look at the status of mitosis in a growing onion root tip, and B, time taken in various stages of mitosis. As we know, stages of mitosis, they have five phases, which is interphase, growth phase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. In the most tissue, new cells are formed from a result of mitosis. If the chromosomes are being stained with the acetyl-O-C-A, the stages of mitosis or the chromosome can be seen clearly under light microscope. So, this is an example of the tissues of the root of the onion. So, here we can say that the zone of the cell division are located at the apical meristem, where the growing parts of this cell division or mitosis occur. In this practical, we can try to prepare our own microscope slide. So, skills are required to obtain a very good result. Stages of mitosis and growing onion root tip. This video from a Thomas Tenang channel. We can use onion or garlic in this experiment. Cut 1 cm of the root tip and put inside of the carnal fluid. This carnal fluid is used to stop the mitosis process. Leave it for about 48 hours before we can use the root tip. Then we should transfer this root tip into a watch glass that contains the hydrochloric acid. This acid will soften the cell wall and weaken the cellulose connection, so easily to be scorched later. Then, we should gently warm this into a flame for about 5 seconds and leave it for about 2 minutes. Give a root tip into a couple of washing with the distilled water. Now we should transfer the root into a watch glass that connect that contain the acetylosine or acetylcholine. This is a excellent to give a deep red color to the liquid material. Warm the stain for about five seconds and leave it for about five to ten minutes. Transfer to the root stain on the wet clean with a one drop of water using a blade. Remove about a few millimeters. And remove that one. Gently lower the carbon slip and avoid air bubbles. Using a blunt forceps or pencil, gently tap into a carbon slip a few times until the root tip are uniformly discoursed. Observe under a microscope. You drill, right, and then you pick the microscope with the slide on the stage. Right, and as usual, use uh, the lowest magnification power four times, and then you focus your image. Magnification power, right? Um, and then you can increase the power to ten times, right? And lastly, uh, forty times. Okay, you just um, make sure that you have a clear image of that specimen. Image can be seen under 40 times, which is interface, pro-face, pro-face leg, which is start to be assembled as a chromatic, metaphase, chromosome align at the equatorial plane, and a face when they start to separate, and a face leg. Telophase, a leaf can say they are dividing, and this is a leaf telophase. The lab report, we should draw the image of the each stages of these interface, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Alright, 
So we should draw sample of the interface, row face, what will happen inside of the cell. Alright, you can see that start to sample. Metaphase, when you can see that start to in the middle of the equatorial phase. And then under phase, what will happen in the other phase? It start to separate. Telum phase, when they have formed the, what we call the circuit. Don't forget to write down a discussion, meaning that what happened inside of this interface stage. Okay, we can see that in the point form. Okay, what will happen in this stage? Okay, in each stages, write down the elaboration. Experiment 2.1b, estimation of time taken in various stages of mitosis. There is a simple calculation involved for this activity. Okay, later we'll get to this. Okay, so what will be the first thing that you need to do is you need to estimate. Right, you need to estimate um, in the whole field of view under the microscope too, okay, uh, what is the number of cell that can be observed. Okay, so for example, if this is your field of view, okay, so you need to estimate what is the number of cell in this whole circle here under the microscope. So how can we tell, uh, estimate this? This is simple calculation only. Uh, you need to calculate, you need to count what is the number of cell um, vertical, right? So, for example, you have 10 cells here, right, times with the number of cells um, horizontally, which you mean, uh, for example, you have 17 cells here. Okay, so the estimation of cells will be, the number of cells will be 17 times 10, so you have roughly around 170 cells. For example, this is just an example, so you will need to um, estimate uh, the number of cells on your own in your slide. Okay, so this will be uh, the estimation of number of cells. Next, we'll be uh, using this simple formula here. Yeah? Right? So simple calculation. Now, for example, the time taken for prophase. Okay, the first stage of mitosis, which is prophase. So how can we uh, calculate the time for prophase? Just using this simple uh, equation here. Yeah? Number of each stage, for example, this is the number of prophase. So out of these 170 cells in your field of view, you need to count how many are cells undergoing prophase stage of mitosis. For example, right, so this will be the calculation there. Right? For example, you have 8. When you count the whole field of view, you got 8. 8 cells undergoing prophase stage of mitosis. So how can you calculate the time taken? It will be 8 over 170, the estimation of number of cells, times 8 hour times 60 minutes. So why 8 hour? This is because one cell cycle for onion, a particular cell will take 8 hours and then you want to change in 2 minutes. Right? So 8 over 170 times 8 hour times 60 minutes. So you will get whatever minute right? for this calculation. That will be for prophase. Metaphase, you come on a scale, how many cells are undergoing metaphase? So for example, 9. So you do the, the simple, the, the same calculation. Anaphase, for example, you have only 5. So you do the calculation. And telophase will be 3, for example. And you, you do the calculation as well, the same calculation as well. So that will leave us with the remaining number of cells. Alright, so the remaining number of cells will be undergoing interphase, which is the longest time in a cell, cell cycle. So how can you estimate the number of interface? Simply by deducting 170 with the total of prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase. 8 times plus 9 plus 5 plus 3 and then you deduct 170 from this total. So you get around 145. So the time for interface will be 145 over 170 times 8 hours times 60 minutes. Right? So that will be the time taken for each stage of my process. Now, this is the pictures of the prepared slide. You can use this image to fill the result in the table time taken of the each stages. 
count every stages in this slide. Find how many prophase, how many metaphase of the cell, how many anaphase and telophase. Everything is inside here. Estimate the numbers of cells from this slide. You can use this as your result of the lab report. By using a previous slide, you can use that to fill this result. Calculate the time taken into interface, prophase, beta phase, and phase, and telophase, and find how many percent the interface and how many percent the time taken of the onion in the end phase. Experiment to be human karyotype analysis. Alright, so the next one will be in this preparation of human karyotype. Okay, so if you refer to your lab manual, there will be a few sets of human karyotype given. Right, so one is normal, another one will be, uh, at the back will be Newton. Right, so please refer to that one. So what you need to do with this karyotype is you need to follow the procedure given on page 6. Alright, so you start with the biggest chromosome with central near at the center of the chromosome. One is for chromosome number 1. So referring to this karyotype here, you need to find which one is the biggest chromosome, right, with the centromere at the center. That one is chromosome number one, right, for example, if this is chromosome number one. So this is chromosome number one. The next thing that you need to do is you need to find its homologous pair. So another chromosome with the same uh, size and also the same feature, right, that will be the one more homologous chromosome, which is chromosome number one as well. Okay, so you've got chromosome number one and then you need to paste that chromosome um, onto your lab report on page 78 here. Alright, so chromosome number one. So there will be chromosome number one here. And then you proceed until um, autosome number 22. And last one will be, you need to identify what is the sex chromosome um, for this karyotype. Alright, so you can choose from any karyotype which is normal karyotype. It will be one male and one female. So up to you guys, you want to, you want to choose uh, whichever set for normal. And then you will, there will be one more activity where you will need to do the same, basically the same thing, but involving karyotype in a mutant individual. Right, so mutant individual. This will be covered in our lecture, um, chapter mutation. But whatever it is, I think you've learned this before in your secondary school. Alright, so you will need to do the karyotype for a Newton individual. That will be for experiment 2.1. So the last activity for today is, is isolation of DNA. This is the simplest activity for our lab today. Right, involving just two steps only. Right, so first... Draw the result for this daily extraction. We can see that it's a cold ethanol and DNA precipitate here and the, the bottom is a DNA solution. 